S A T prep. There we go. This is the math guy, Steve. Solve x squared minus 5x plus 6 less than 0. Okay, so how we solve this? We pretend it's an equal sign. Okay, so if it is an equal sign, we'll get 0 on one side, then factor the other side, set each factor equal to 0. So here I have 0 on one side, so the factor of this left hand side, we would say, was well, three terms and there's a 1 in front, so double, bubble, okay, x and x. I need numbers that multiply to give me 6, combined to give me negative 5. So in this case, that would be negative 3 and negative 2. Okay. So I got zero on one side, I factored the other side. Now, if it was an equal sign, we would set each factor equal to zero. So that would be x minus three equals zero and x minus two equals zero. So x would equal three and x would equal two. Aha. Alas, that was just us pretending, right? So we would say, well, take those numbers, put them on a number line, plug in test points in each region. Okay, so here we'd say, okay, well, here's our number line. Here's two and here's three. And now we plug in test points in each spot, right? So give me a number less than 2, say 0. A number between 2 and 3, say 2.5. And a number bigger than 3, say 4. We plug them into the original equation see if we get a true statement. Let's try it. So if I plug in 0, that's 0 minus 0 plus 6. 6 is not less than 0. So that region would not work, okay? So if I plug in 2.5, well, 6.25 minus 12.5 plus 6, that's negative 0 0.25, which is less than 0. Okay, so that one checks out, okay? Well, 16 minus 20 is negative 4 plus 6, that's 2, which is not less than 0. So that region doesn't work. So all the reason that works is the numbers between 2 and 3, meaning our solution set we can write as, okay, 2 comma 3 as an interval notation or in inequality form we would say, well, x has to be between 2 and 3. Always remember, math is everywhere.